and welcome to Nala's Kitchen, a show we cooked up to make delicious food and to make your day and have fun in the kitchen and learn something new all together. What are we learning on today's episode? Do you have any ripe bananas that you need to use and you're not gonna use it to eat it or put it in a smoothie or freeze them or make banana bread because we've done that. Pretty sure that was episode number one. Well, we will be making cookies. Banana cookies with some peanut butter. We got almond butter and peanut butter. We will need one banana that is ripe. This guy is real ripe. And we will mash him up. So you just need one. Unless you want to double the recipe. Then two. Next. Almond butter. So we have two tablespoons of almond butter. If you don't have almond butter, you can change for another butter. Regular peanut butter if you have it. Natural preferably so we can keep it a little more healthy. I will be using two tablespoons of almond butter today. Next. All natural peanut butter smooth unless you would like a crunch in your cookie, then go ahead and get the crunchy kind. You'll get one fourth plus two tablespoons of the natural peanut butter. And lastly, some cinnamon. Half teaspoon to a full teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it because what's better than a banana and cinnamon and peanut butter? Nothing. I'm sure there's a lot of things, but today, nothing. And if you're feeling wild, you can throw in like a tablespoon of maple syrup or a couple tablespoons of dark chocolate chips or semi-sweet chocolate chips depending on what you'd like, but if you have a sweet tooth that is chocolate like me, you can throw in some dark chocolate chips. But today, alas, I will not. I will keep to this recipe and this recipe only. But please be creative and add what you'd like. Perfect timing. Our oven is preheated. And that reminds me, if you haven't already, because probably because I haven't told you, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, that is Fahrenheit, and Line a baking sheet with some parchment paper to prep yourself. Now, take your banana, peel it, drop it, like so. We are going to mash this boy down, downtown. And if you have compost, please compost. All right, let's mash. All right. This isn't like a huge mixing bowl. This is like a medium to small size one because it's not a huge recipe. I think we'll get 10 to 12 cookies. So we will just be doing this. Go crazy really quick. If you're angry, get it out. Or if you just need to work out. We are all mashed up. Here we are. I'm just going to boop boop, make sure there's no stragglers, you know, because every last bit counts. All right, dump in your peanut butters. First, our all natural regular peanut butter, which again is one fourth cup plus two tablespoons. Oh my gosh, look at how clean of a scoop that was. And scoop or drop would probably make the most sense. All right, then we put in our almond butter. Not as clean, but I think I'll still get a good scoop out. Ooh yeah, here we go. Scoop that on in. All right. Next, you will put a half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna eyeball it. So I'm getting crazy over here in this kitchen. And I love cinnamon. And cinnamon has some really good benefits for you. All right, now we mix it on up. Woohoo, yeah. Ooh, I smell all the peanut butters. Just make sure almond butter is a little thicker. I mean, if you're at the end of the jar like me, or it's a little more runny, depending on how early you just bought it. But make sure it is all stirred up, mixed up, well combined. Okay, now, if your mixture, your dough is a little runny, which mine is, you can add in a flour. That could be oat flour, almond flour, or my flour that I'm doing, which is Bob's Red Mills organic white flour. And I would do about a tablespoon at a time. I'm gonna dump it in, dump it in, top drop is what happened. And I'm gonna mix it on up to see if it makes our mixture a little thicker. And you can keep doing it a tablespoon at a time. I think I will add one more. So right now we're at two tablespoons of flour. I didn't do maple syrup, so again, that could change your consistency as well. Just make it a consistency where you can make a cookie out of it. Seems good. Yeah. I'm gonna do one more. One more tablespoon. Ba, 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 ba. And that should be plenty. You will be doing a tablespoon for a cookie. So go ahead and get your scooper out. I'm going to stir that on up one more time. Oh yeah, much. Much better, much better. We have a perfect little ball of dough that came together. Let's grab our parchment paper lined baking sheet and a fork for a fun design. Let's do this guy and get to scooping. And place on on here. Boom, boom, boom. Will she say boom after every time? Here we go. Boom, almost done. I love this guy because it's literally a perfect tablespoon. Oops, we got a straggler. Then you can have your regular ice cream scooper and this guy. 
So I'm going to go one right here. This is the last one. Or maybe I think I can get two more cookies out of this right here. And scoop. Now I have some straggler. Oh, oh, can she make another one? Let's see. Let's see how much is left. Uh, I don't think it's enough for a whole cookie. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, that'd be a really little cookie. So let's just add it to some other cookies. Let's just find the smaller one. There we go. Just put some right there. Put some right there. All right. Now, you can put sea salt at the end or right now. I don't know. I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling like let's do half right now and then half at the end. So half of them will get topped with sea salt at the end. Final touch. And some of them will have sea salt now. I'm going to do, let's see, we have three, six, nine. Okay. So I am going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on four of them, five of them. And for a fancy design, take a fork and just press on down so there's a little bit of that little line situation. Cookies don't have to be perfect. Why? Because we're the ones eating them. Unless you're taking them to like, you know, a party or something, then I get there's more pressure there. But these ones are just fun ones to figure out how to make some healthier cookies. Okay, they're perfect. Your oven should be at 350. You're gonna throw them in for 10 minutes. And once they're out, top the other ones with sea salt to see if you like it before or after better. All right, see you in 10 minutes. Alrighty, while our peanut butter and banana cookies are baking, I would love to chat with you about pet adoption, specifically from the Long Beach Animal Shelter because they still need us. I feel like they're always gonna need us, but we are available. And by available, I mean we can share the good news. We can share the news of pet adoption and let people know that they are still at critical capacity, meaning there are not enough beds for all the cute, adorable pets they have there. So please, if you're interested in adoption, go check them out. Or if you know anyone that's like, oh, I've been thinking about adopting a pet, I don't know if I want a cat or a dog or even a rabbit. You should be like, hey, I heard Long Beach Animal Shelter needs you. Here's a link. Go check them out. And for that link, it'll be found in the description below. Go check them out. I'll see you when our cookies are done. Howdy. Our cookies are all done. Mine took about 12 minutes and then I let them cool on the baking sheet. And they have a little bit of brown right on the edges. And then on the bottoms, we have some brown. So, depends on how you'd like yours. I like mine a little squishy. And they look perfect. And all of the designs are different. The little fork design I was going for. But it's literally whatever you'd like. That's the fun of the kitchen. And that's all I have for you today on Nala's Kitchen. As always, I'm Nicole. And I am so grateful you joined me here for us to learn something new and make a new healthy it's not new, it's not like, oh, newly discovered, but trying out a new recipe to make a healthier cookie. And don't forget, if you or anyone you know is interested in pet adoption, all the information will be found in the description below. And don't forget, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family about Nala's Kitchen and all the fun we have in here. Until next time, stay seasoned and balanced, and enjoy some healthier cookies.